Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love. And every kiss and every touch you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 186, NASDAQ's up 33, S&P's up 12, gold contract up $15, trading 1822 an ounce. We got silver up 59 cents, 23 dollars six cents an ounce. Lights we crude off a buck, 91 dollars 39 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note up four ticks, trading 126.28. The 30 year up six ticks at 153.14 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 58 ticks, trading 95,427. The Euro is out here at 114. The Yen's at 115. The British Pound is trading out here at 135 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave is the head of product and the managing director at Direction, folks. And of course, as you come over to our website, you can just hit that Direction banner. Uh, bottom line, we have a trading. We have a trader's market for sure. We got a two way market. We got commodities moving. They have a lot of great products out there that can help you each and every day. Dave Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely, man. Well, first, you know, I, and, and folks, you got to remember something. When you're over the direction chairs, right, every day after the close, okay, they put the price movers up there, the volatility spikes, and they create and redeems. So, Dave, I'm looking at the, this volatility spikes, and you can see that the bulls and the bears are fighting about uh, the LABD and the LABU. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, it's, it, it's an interesting, uh, the biotech space, I mean, it's had a pretty rough 2021. Yes. Uh, and, and now we're seeing, uh, and, and, you know, long -term, longer term strategists are saying uh, now may be a better time to get into the space and the valuations have come down, but the trading community um, has really latched on to that idea. And but we're seeing really, to your point, the bulls and the bears fighting it out um, in, in the near term here. And there's not necessarily a clear direction from the activity we're seeing in those paper funds of who might be winning right now. There isn't. And that's pretty I, I, I kind of like that setup, folks. And the reason I like that setup is that's how the market likes to trade. I mean, when you have a two way market out here you know as dave just said biotechs have been down for a while let's talk about you have a new um two times oil service stock the ong this is pretty cool yeah we're excited about ong uh you know stands for oil and gas if you will cool this okay is really, really a compliment to a fund like gush yes uh, which people might be more familiar with the names in gush are your oil and gas exploration and production companies. Okay. The oil services, which are in ONG, those are your uh, uh, more well, like the, the picks and shovels yes. of the oil industry. So they have a really high beta to the price of oil, the underlying commodity. Yeah. And in fact, depending upon the environment, they might be performing a lot differently than the EMP names. So I think there's a great opportunity for traders who, especially in this market, as we're seeing energy make a pretty decent comeback here along with the rest of commodities to actually play those two off each other. No, big time. And inside that, folks, you get Schlumberger, Halliburton, Baker Hughes, uh, Transocean, a lot of them that you actually know. Now, we have to go, you know, the bottom line, folks, uh, if you've never traded, whether it's the nugget or the dust, okay, bottom line, we got some action in gold. And so when we get action in gold, you know, you can go over to this nugget. This is going to get interesting here, Dave, to see. I mean, it's been laying down not just, you know, your nugget, I mean, the, that market in general. We've got a couple little pops, but we got action out here now, man. Well, I heard you talking about the dollar, uh, you know, when, when you're wrapping up the previous segment. And, and, and look, that, uh, that, that's been a big part of the, one of the reasons, along with, with yields, of why gold is a commodity. I think it's been confusing traders, right? Yes. Um, many people would kind of expect historically that gold would be ripping and, and, and it would be in the, the, the you know, uh, nightly news, <laughs> like it was a few years ago. Yeah, um, that hasn't been the case. The case, and the miners, in particular, to your point, haven't really seen that um, that come back. But gold's on the move today, uh, and and we're definitely seeing it with with nugget of dust, at least on a daily basis. And folks, if you if you're watching Tiger TV and you're seeing the screen, the bottom line is that nugget is taking out the B point of an ABC up with volume. So. 
That, you know, bottom line, I, when I do these ABCs, that's saying, what's it, seven? That's seven bucks. That's saying Nuggets going to 51. You're at 48.12 uh, right now. So pretty cool um, that we're finally getting some action in, in that market. And, you know, when we take a look at the, whether it's the, the S&P, whether it's the NASDAQ, um, this, is, this has been pretty wild action, hasn't it? That we, we come down, flip right back, going topside. Um, there's a lot of opportunity out here, Dave. Yeah, I think uh, the traders, you know, the, the pulse at the fingertips is, is this is the market for it. You know, I, I've heard some people call uh, to use your ABC analogy that maybe the market itself is is kind of is going to see that and maybe retest some lows uh, later uh, later. later I, this I agree. Year. Um, yeah. And so basically, I think you know, on the upside, take advantage of it for the time being. But we know there's still you know question marks about what's going to happen with the fed are we going to get we know we're going to get a hike we know we're going to get some action yes. but is the market really prepared for it uh, and i think uh, earnings season frankly um, has been uh, helpful to kind of get rid of those macro headwinds for the time being uh, and look we see you know we saw the meta news and then the the apple saved the day meta ruined it yep. uh, and then and then amazon, yeah, amazon, uh, amazon saved really the helped day. again so yeah. <laughs> uh, this market is 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 going to remain kind of two way i think uh, for, for, for a while, but at least for the leverage and inverse side, to your point, we have, we, we see action happening everywhere, really. It's happening in the growth names like biotech, happening still in the yes. semis. People aren't giving up on that trade yet, but we are starting to see people really nib nibble again back at the gold miners, back in the energy space, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to bring uh, ONG to market as, as, as if we do see that secular move away from growth and toward value. There's no doubt. And you brought up a great point. You know, it, what has happened, folks, is gold, gold hasn't moved. And the equities have moved pretty good. And and it doesn't move, folks, until it moves. <laughs> and then, you know, they lo gold loves these straight line moves, man. And we'll see whether this is going to be one of them. But there's no doubt that um, we have a two-way market. You got some great product out here. And it's very easy to look at the product, folks. You, you write a TF and then just hit that direction banner, bring you over. A lot of great product. Dave, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to speaking in two weeks from today. Thank you. Talk soon. Thanks so much, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The, the market's getting goosed. We got uh, the Dow Industrials up 222. NASDAQ is up 62. S&P's up 20. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Mm -hmm.